Our next guest was here in Chicago all week capturing images from the convention hall behind us. Pulitzer Prize winner and chief White House photographer for Gerald Ford, David Hume Kennerly joins us now. He covered the DNC for Politico, its 16th national political convention. His first, remember this one, David? Kansas City, 1976. No, I don't remember. <laughs> good it's the only it. it's the only election Ronald Reagan ever lost. That's right. Yeah, that's a good bit of trivia. So let's right. actually start at the end of last night. Some of your shots uh, of an extraordinary speech, an extraordinary moment for the Democratic Party of Kamala Harris. We can start with her guys uh, at the podium delivering her speech. What did you capture here? Well, uh, that was a really good speech. And uh, most photographers have heard so many speeches firsthand that they don't like any of them. But uh, she really knocked it out of the park. And you could see it in the photographs. That's the beauty of still photography. You show it live. We show it for the rest of history for 100 years from now. And I think the impression I got is conveyed through my photos. But she really did a good job. And the moment afterward where the second gentleman came out on stage, Doug yes. Emhoff, captured that moment as well. What do we see here? You got it, guys? I think you got another button. Well, here. there's something else, but we'll That's talk close. about that, too. That's the second gentleman on the left. Uh, this is a typical, this is your basic political postcard Everybody shoots it. I always like getting off to the side a little bit. And uh, the, this was the one where they all got together. There was never a good two shot of uh, of Walls and um, the VP. I kind of lamented that. You know, one of the extraordinary. This was the moment where she came out and um, uh, greeted her husband. And hopefully you've got the next frame, which is... Uh, uh, kind of a classic of them hugging. Yeah, he pulls her in a little closer. I'm not sure if we have that. There, there it is. is. Yeah, uh, there it is. And it reminded me, I don't know if you have that picture. Uh, I said it over, but um, when George W. Bush was hugged by Michelle Obama yeah. at the uh, opening of the National African American Museum. Ah, oh, there you go. Yeah. It was like really <laughs> wild. <laughs> I'm, I'm pretty sure uh, uh, the, uh, the first, second gentleman and uh, the vice president are a lot closer than those two. Yeah. Just nestling they in there. An unlikely duo yeah. there. I mean, uh, let's talk about some of the others from the week. One was Gov night three here belonged to Governor Walls, and you captured a photograph of him at the end as he finished his and he finished his speech, at becoming the vice president of the nominee. Right. I mean, I'd never photographed him before this convention, and uh, show that now. He's a very uh, gregarious chap uh there you go you got the coach sign behind him i mean this is uh my wire service training is always there the looking, there, looking for more than just what's in the foreground and um uh i think that's him you know i i i don't know we'll know more later but he really is uh to me a really interesting guy Big prayer hands guy, hand over the heart and, guy. And, yeah. and the emotional moment with his family just then, where his son Well, if you do this, yes. you, you encompass about 23 religions, so it's all, there you go. It's all good. There you go. Uh, you know, a, a shot of Hillary Clinton from early in the week uh, was striking, I think because you have covered and photographed her for so long, and what a moment this was for her, perhaps bittersweet in some ways, to sort of hand the mantle to Kamala Harris, something yeah, she that, hoped so much to win. You could feel the love in the room there for her. And I was there with her at the 2016 campaign where she becomes the first woman uh, to have a major party uh, uh, nomination. And I first photographed her in the judiciary hearing room when they were impeaching, impeaching Richard Nixon in 1974. And... Um, I love this picture. It's genuine. I mean, really, I could feel it. I look at that picture and I feel her emotion. And th this is why I love what I do. I'm able to provide a really good scrapbook for all these people. Joe's got one for you, David. Well, David, Joe. you know, uh, I, I love what you said. Um, we, uh, we're vapor. We, we run the video. It disappears the second we're off the air. You get that moment. You get that instant that 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 stays forever. And there's one moment you got that I think is just beautiful, mm. and it shows Kamala uh, backstage as Joe Biden is talking, uh, and and her weeping, 
um, it obviously very moving to her as it was uh, for Joe Biden. And if we could get the next picture of Joe Biden well, we have um, there when he was talking as well. Uh, but yeah, you get so, some great moments here. Uh, thanks, Joe. Well, I, I, that's what I live to do. Uh, and uh, she really did react when Biden was standing at the podium and uh, every, just a standing, long, rolling applause. Uh, I think some of it was probably in relief that they now have a candidate who's going to become president of the United States. Uh, but um, uh, that photograph of Joe Biden was a pensive moment. And it has to be incredibly overcoming for him. And uh, uh, I really... I didn't think he would go out, but he did, and uh, he, he's a great person. Yeah, it's, a, it's an amazing shot. David, let me ask you, we're bookending two conventions, probably uh, your, your, your career, probably the two most unique conventions of our lifetime, uh, are of your professional uh, lifetime. 1976, I still remember it, uh, Reagan and Ford. Uh, the last convention that really mattered, you, you didn't know uh, for sure that Ford was going to nail that down until he did. And then, of course, this convention in 24, all these years later, a convention unlike any other. Uh, uh, compare the two. Uh, just talk about, talk about your memories uh, over all these years of covering conventions. Well, in 1976, you had a couple of white guys there which is pretty normal for the American political system. But I was President Ford's uh, chief White House photographer. I was backstage with him. Uh, and he picked Bob Dole at, at that convention. I mean, there was a, it was really dramatic. But I think what happened here, and this is way more of a, a TV show on one hand, but uh, I really felt the, the good vibe here. I mean, I think... Uh, Kamala Harris has become the story, sorry for D Donald Trump, because he he's not going to be the person people care about anymore, other than to probably see him go. But um, uh, this was probably the best convention I covered. And I, I think it was, on every level, it was fantastic, not just the staging of it, but the, the, the feeling of it. And mm. I, I think I caught that in the photographs. David, these photos are extraordinary. They're they instant really classics. Are. They really are. Beautiful. Thank you so Thank much. Thank you so much for documenting history. Former Chief White House photographer David Hume Kennerly. You know. Thanks for being on the show. This kid's pretty good at what He's he does. Good, yeah. I predict he has a future <laughs> with a camera. I know. I've seen a few of his shots. Andrew, I like them. Uh, Andrea Mitchell, uh, I talked to yesterday, said, can you believe we're still doing this? Yeah. <laughs> I'm glad we are. I mean, well, I don't know what else I would do. Joe and I say to each other every day, like, what, what are we doing here? So, okay, exactly. we'll be right back. Thank you, David. Where am I?